In this video, we are going to measure the width of two magazines. These magazines are for a P229 6 hour. One is chambered in 9mm, and the other one is a 40 Smith & Wesson slash 357 SIG. Now, obviously, the 9mm is a little bit thinner, and the 40 Smith & Wesson 357 SIG is a little thicker, meaning the mags would be different. Now, by just looking at them, a lot of mags do have markings on them, which will help. And this one, as you can see, says 40 slash 357. And this one here says 9mm P228, which is also good for a P229. However, some mags, you might not have those markings. You might just have a name on them. Uh, they may not be as clear. But this is an older mag. Although it does have markings on it. This is a six-hour mag. The markings are on here. This is more used. This is a used mag, obviously. Much more used. The zipper back. Here's another one. Um, as you can see, it says six hour. It does say what's on there. Okay, that's a good thing. But in case it doesn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have those kind of markings, or the markings are so worn <laughs> that you can't determine what it's for, we will measure the width of the mag. And the way I do that is I take my trusty caliper, which is not the most expensive in the world, but it's, uh, it works. You can pick these up for about maybe $30 sometimes on sale. They work well for me. Anyway, we will take some measurements, and obviously the one that's a little thicker would be the one for the larger caliper, which is the 40 slash 3. 357 sake although they are they are almost identical there is a difference especially when you insert them in the in the mag well of the pistol let's zero this in let's take measurements here okay without even lo knowing which one was which okay we're gonna measure that let's give me a reading of eh, 0 0.811 0 0.812 Put it one one. This one's gonna give me a reading of point eight six one. Point. And we have to. We want to make sure when we measure it, we don't. We measure it from the middle part down, not up in here, obviously. Okay. Point eight six one. Point eight six three. And again, the thinner one. Okay, so we're looking at a difference there. 0.813 to 0.862. Obviously, this is the 357 sig. Ah, and it is. Now, say we have no clue what these are. So we'll just take a quick measurement. 0.864. We know that's for a 4357. We'll take our other one, do the same thing. 0 0.859. 0 0.860. So we know there's three for the 43, 57, and one for nine millimeter. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put both mags in the pistol. I'm gonna show you the difference. If you wanna go ahead and convert your 43, 57 pistol into a nine millimeter, obviously you need a whole slide assembly with the barrel and the spring and recoil and a locking insert. But also the mag is a good idea. Although a 9mm mag in a 4357 frame is a little on the sloppier side. And I'll show you what, that, what I mean by that. Okay, here I have the pistol. This is a 4357 SIG. I'll pull it back. There's no bullets in it, as we can see. Nothing in the chamber. It's a safe pistol. And we can see... It's hard to see that 4357, well 40, this barrel's a 40, I have the 357 barrel out. And the neat part about these guns, all you have to do is swap the barrel out between the 40 and 357, you have another caliber. But also you can switch this over to a 9mm, but you need this entire slide assembly and you need the locking insert inside. 
and I show you how to do that. I showed you how to do that on another video of mine. Okay. Anyway, let's insert the. Let's see what we have here. Here's the nine millimeter. We're going to put that in. Of course, it locks right in. Perfect. No problem. It locks up like it's supposed to. It ejects like it's supposed to. It seems fine. It seems like it's going to work. Well, it will. It will. The difference comes when you put when you put put it in. You just push it up past this little release, and you go side to side. It's a bit sloppy. The reason being, it's a thinner mag. Now we'll put the 4357 mag in there, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just press push it just a hair, and you'll get that. The slot. It's a little bit loose, obviously, because that's a go in and out of a pistol, but the, you don't have that sloppy play like you do on the 9mm. So, if you were to chamber a 9mm in here on the 4357 frame, the mags would work from what I've heard. Of course, they're going to be a little sloppy, but it, if you want another caliber, that's how you can go. I haven't done it yet, although I am going to in the future.